Let's do this. Good luck to all of you. The BT Young Scientist and Technologist for 2014 is Paul Clark from St. Paul's College. Hello, Paul. Unbelievable, I have to say, and unexpected. <laughs> I was totally surprised when I, when, I, when I won the exhibition. About a year and a half ago, I, I was actually quite interested in physics more than anything else. So uh, I was actually working on a, a problem in physics for actually the last year's young scientist. But then I actually discovered that graph theory can be used to simplify problems, and that's when I discovered it, really. I taught myself graph theory, mostly, and uh, so I suppose I don't really know why I got into it. I, I just kind of loved it when I discovered it. So. I couldn't even begin to understand exactly what he was doing because the level of maths was so high. But all of the winners, anyone who's here, are winners because in fact 500 plus out of the 2,000 plus applicants are located here in this exhibition. It's an extraordinary event. The judges who would be experts in this field were so impressed that not just a secondary school student but any student would and produce the kind of work that, um, that, that he produced for this project, so really impressed. It's a piece of pure mathematics research. It's very impressive. The judges were dumbfounded by the, the work that the boy did. It's being used right now to help make computers that can actually model proteins and model molecules, and they can create drugs that are no more than living inside of a, a computer. And it's because of this graph theory that, um, that that Paul is using that allows the computers to do this, that they can actually create these molecules that don't exist so they can see if they might be useful in, in health and, and human use. Really, really good. I mean, there was a, f a few comments that were floating around that this may be the new Hamilton. William Rowan Hamilton, who's Ireland's most famous, most celebrated and best scientist mathematician. Fantastic, fantastic. Can't, can't believe it. I'm absolutely um, gobsmacked.